We just made it to our first harvest host location. And uh, it is, uh, well, this is actually kind of a parking area uh, of a snow hill. Sledding hill? Sledding. Tubing hill? Yeah. Yeah, so we're getting ready to go over to Wessler Orchards in New Paris, Ohio. And um, yeah, so they don't actually have the parking location at the orchard. Right, right. And I believe this location is owned by the same people. So uh, okay. this is their, their second business, yeah. and this is where they have all the RVs, the RVs stay. Yeah, so it's a big gravel parking lot, as you can see. Lots of room. We're the only ones here right now. So we're actually getting ready to hop on our electric XP e-bikes and head over to the orchard to see what they have. I guess their specialty are... Apple cider. Apple cider. Yeah. Apple dumplings. Apple, apple pie. pie. I think that's it. We're running out of apples. And apples. Yeah. All right. So we're going to hop on the bikes and head out. All right. Let's head out. Yeah, lots of really nice looking fruits and vegetables. What is a apple orchard without all the um, apple pastry and bakery accoutrement? Pies galore. Uh, you know, some, some different kinds of apples I, I never heard of before. Zesters, uh, Rambos, never heard of those. And red Akane or a cane. Lots of local uh, local honey. All right, so this was a bad idea. Really bad. Yeah, we came out with way too much stuff. Um, not sure if it's going to fit in our bike bags or not. What but are we tell them what we got? We'll give it the old college try. Yes. Yep. So uh, whenever you go to a orchard. Um, in the countryside, it's always important to get fresh eggs. <laughs> Definitely. Yes. Definitely got to do the fresh eggs. Of course, uh, apple cider. Yes. And speaking of apple cider, they have apple cider slushes here, which uh, are freaking to die for. Oh, delicious. Good stuff. Yeah. Yes. All right. All right. So something else. I mean. Oh, and that's the coup de gras. You're gonna go right to that. Yeah, we're gonna go to the right to the All coup right. de gras. Everything else is gonna be anticlimactic. Right to the coup de gras. Yes. Apple dumplings. Never had one. Shauna's Can't wait. Shauna's never had one. But, uh, yeah, looking forward to those. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be good. Or apparently, they have a petting zoo of sorts. So on the way back, we're going to go on a path that kind of goes back through the uh, apple orchard, down the hill, down the sledding tubing hill. Yeah, that should be interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Shauna may be walking her bike. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it'll be all right. You think? All right, you go first. That we all know. Yep. Okay. Here we go. Hello again. So we made it to... Um, our next harvest host location here just outside of Lancaster. It's a nice little uh, winery called Rockside uh, Winery and Vineyards. Nice, uh, really nice spot here. You can see some of the, the uh, vineyard back there. Here's our spot. Shauna's down there somewhere walking the dogs in that area. <laughs> so we made it out to the patio with our adult beverages. By the way, this is a wine slush. Never had one before. It's called Pina Colada, and it's made with white wine from Rockside Winery. Pretty good. It is good. Delicious. I'm Delicious. having a, um, a coffee ale. So one of the things that I guess the owner likes um, for people to do when they come in from various parts of the country is to kind of share their story. So they gave us a nice little leather-bound book here. We're going to, and a pen. 
and we're going to share our story with them. Yeah. And uh, yeah, spread the word of the life uninterrupted. Yeah. It appears, at least here, they have uh, a decent size uh, vineyard that they use their own grapes. So a lot of places who have um, these small wineries, such as this, I'm not saying this is like that, but smaller wineries, they, they buy their grapes or buy their juice from someone else and uh, you know they just make the wine. But it appears as though they use their own grapes here um, and I'd certainly like to know the story behind all that. Find out how much uh, of, of the vineyard they actually use in their own wines and uh, what the varieties are. So would like to do that. Yes. I guess there's only one thing left to do is Salute. Salute. Yes. Drink up, my friend. location and this happens to be Layton's Chance Winery and Vineyard. Look at this beautiful view. So you can see our coach is parked in the grass. You've got this beautiful field behind us and then coming around you can see more grass and finally the vineyard right out there. I understand that one of their specialties is a wine slushy, so Brian and I are just about on it. We're, we've got set up, or we're getting set up. Uh, we're almost done. Anyhow, once we finish setting up, we're gonna go in and try some of their specialty wine slushies. Sounds delicious. As we're walking up here, we saw this sign that the winery is powered by the sun, but yet we don't see any solar panels. I think they're on the back side. So here's something interesting we found. Um, I don't know if you knew that one grape cluster equals one glass of wine. I didn't know that. How's your wine? Uh, very good. I have the Lazy Day Rosé. Yeah? So it's nice and light for a warm day, warm summer day. Mm -hmm. Is it Very sweet, good. dry? Uh, in between. I mentioned the wine slushies. Peach. Bellini. Mmm. <laughs> that is delicious. And then this one was watermelon margarita. Watermelon margarita. Oh wow, that is delicious too. It's a good thing we live nearby. Not a long, not a long walk back to the rig, so. <laughs> we had a great wine tasting. I liked so many of mine. They had a choice between sweet or dry. I took the sweet for the worst. Um, Brian had a glass of rosé. And now we're just sitting back. I ended up getting one of the peach slushies. Brian got a glass of... What'd you get? Uh, Mr. Farm Red. Yeah. Also like a table red one. Very good. Perfect. Easy drinking. Yeah. People here are so friendly, so nice. Um, they actually gave us a Harvest Host gift bag, which we yeah. were not expecting. That's a first. And uh, we got here. Uh, I parked quite a ways down. There's a long lane into the facility. I parked about halfway down the, the gravel lane. And I wasn't even at the, the, the front door yet. The owner, uh, William Layton. I walked out, greeted me, and guided us to our area and said, you know, park anywhere out here that you'd like and uh, welcome to the winery. And so we parked in, I think, a pretty good, uh, pretty good spot. We did. That is beautiful. Yeah, very beautiful. nice. We're very all nice. by ourselves. I'm, I would imagine it's going to be a very quiet night. Yeah. <laughs> How's it good. taste? Does it taste like wine? There's Tastes like uh, purple grapes. So 
yeah, last night was a really nice stay out here. We stayed kind of in the far parking lot, um, away from everything. And uh, yeah, what a great place. Last night, mm -hmm. I think just after closing, uh, Joe Sr., who was the patriarch of the, uh, the family, Leighton family, uh, came out to greet us and welcomed us uh, on his property, which was pretty cool. That was really nice. Yeah, really yes. nice of him. Actually, um, Joe Layton gave us some tips on watching the stars in the evening. Yeah. He suggested we come out and it would be pitch black, no city lights, anything like that, and get some really great stargazing done. We didn't make it. We didn't. Well, we didn't make it because there was cloud cover. Yeah. Although there was a really bright full moon, which was gorgeous. But um, if you come out here and stay on this property, you're parking in a nice grassy area. You have a big, beautiful open field, and then the vineyards behind you. Um, yep. It's a really nice place to stay. Highly recommend it. Definitely. What do you think so far? What are your impressions of Harvest Host overall? Has it been a good value for us? Would you say? I, I think so. Uh, you know, just like anything, you, you can uh, spend as much as you want or as little as you want, but ideally, yeah. you want to, uh, you know, patronage the um, the place that you mm -hmm. that you're staying at. You mm -hmm. know, you know, if you don't uh, drink, I mean, a place like a winery may not be for you, but uh, you know, there are plenty of other types. Absolutely. And you know, even if you don't drink, but you want to stay at a winery, they yeah. offer, a lot of times they'll offer snacks and things sure. like that. And yeah. you can a lot of times bring gifts. your own, yeah, gifts yeah. and things. Yeah, definitely gifts. Yeah. For sure. So overall, great experience with Harvest Host so far. Um, we've only had one that was a little iffy, but it put us in a really neat neighborhood that we really enjoyed and yeah. we would not have otherwise right. um, checked out or had stayed in. Well, so. That's the thing about Harvest Host, you know, yeah. they, they you really get to go to places you wouldn't mm -hmm. normally go, I think. Right, yeah, definitely. So if you haven't thought about Harvest Host, give them a thought, check them out. Um, ask us any questions that you might have we'd be happy to share although we're kind of newbies at this we're yeah. happy to share um, any of the places that we've been or our thoughts and impressions on it I think it's a great value it's pretty much yeah. paid for itself already in the five stays that we've had so check it out mm -hmm.